Hello, it is Saturday. I am lazy. This is ridiculous. I am about four days behind now on posting stuff. I've got a uh, success is Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, now five coming in here today on Saturday. So I'm going to start putting in a rule for myself. It says that if I ever have a backlog of three that I haven't posted, I have to write at least five TTMs out as penance, basically. So like on a day like this where I'm, you know, going to be posting four all in this video, um, I'd have to write 10 TTMs out. I do that because, I mean, it's like, all right, number one, if I get like just one in a single day, it seems kind of a waste to post a new video for that. But if I combine them together, you know, and I get, you know, three the next day, hey, great. So, yeah, that's going to be my new rule. If I end up going up to three together in one post, I have to write five TTMs out as penance. So for something like this, I have to write ten. So, uh, but yeah, let's go ahead and get down to these. That's going to be starting as of after today. So, uh, yeah, here we go. Five envelopes. Um, I know what most of these ones are. I think I may know what all of them are. But uh, I'm going to start with this one first because if you look at that one, the uh, – cover that up. Prioritaire par avion, uh, prioritain techno and zrakoplovom, and the postmark on there is from Zagreb, which, as you may know, is, I believe, the capital, or at least the largest city, one or the other, of Croatia. So uh, it's been a while since I've gotten one back from uh, the soccer world. But here we go. This is going to be one of those. It's actually done via a Facebook request, and yeah, all right, he signed both in black pen on the front. Very nice. This is going to be soccer player Damir Haramina. I may have mentioned him before. There we go. Reason being is about the third time I tried writing him. The first time I thought I had an address on him in Croatia, mailed to it, never got anything back. So I figure, all right, let's reach out on Facebook, see if we can find a few players. And so I end up finding like 12, 10, 12, 15, something like that players I needed. So I messaged all of them, and I only heard back from about maybe four or five of them, but Haramino was one of them. And so he said, yeah, here's my address. I'd be happy to sign them for you. And I said, great, you know, I'll put in a couple bucks for postage. He's like, no, no, no money. I got postage covered. So it's like, cool. All right. So mailed them off. Never heard anything for about, I think it was two and a half months. And finally he messages me one day and says, hey, uh, I got your cards. They are completely wrecked, though. They got, like, dropped in some water or something, it looks like. They uh, were, yeah, totally wrecked. Um, said, I've got an extra one on the Kansas City one, but I don't have the San Diego. I'm like, hey, I've got extra on both of those. I will remail them over to you. And so this time, about a week or so after I uh, after that, he said, hey, you got the cards in today and mailed them off. And here we go. Ten days after he mailed them, they came back to the U.S. And, uh, yeah, a couple more for the set. I already had one of them signed. I had the Kansas City one already for the set. But uh, the San Diego one there is a new addition for me. So... Very happy to get that one back. First soccer success we've seen in a while. Let's move on to a few uh, more familiar ones for most Americans here. So uh, let's see here. Sort of the one that I'm not totally certain on. It says TH, and the postmark was on the back of the envelope. Nice job again, U.S. Postal Service there. Um, I think this is going to be Tommy Hutton. Let's find out. Or Tom Hutton. I think that's who it is, but I could be wrong. Let's see here. And, yep, that is who we have here. Tom Hutton, former Expos. First baseman outfielder, played for the Phillies as well. Uh, Started his career with the Dodgers, actually. He's also in the 72 top set, but it's on a high-number multiplayer rookie card that I don't have yet. So didn't get a chance to mail that one out, but uh, I did get a few back here. So very happy to get those. Once again, one of those ones that came out of that big box that I bought off of the uh, marketplace there on Facebook. Always happy to be able to use some of those. Moving on, we have MT from St. Louis, Missouri, and I believe this is going to be a guy who shares a name with a boxer. Hmm, MT, name of boxer, St. Louis. Yes, this is going to be Mike Tyson, former Cardinals infielder. And yeah, there we go, got, and Cubs as well, so forgot about that. There we go. Did he play for anyone else? Cardinals, Cubs, that's it. Okay, but yeah, got Mike Tyson back. Very happy to receive those. Um, I know Aubrey actually mailed to him around the same time that I did, so uh, might be seeing a video from her coming uh, tomorrow, possibly, if she got it back too. So keep that in mind as a, as a uh, something may pop up. Moving right along, we have FM. This one has no postmark on it anywhere. Um, I looked up who FM probably is. I think this might be Felix Milan. Milan, Milan, something like that. 70s infielder, Felix. Is that? Is that? Yes, it is. And good, he signed all three that I sent, including a... Let's see, I got the set. Okay, so I'll show off all three of these, because the 77 I picked up in that uh, Marketplace box. The 67, I believe, yeah, 67 I pulled off of Sport Lots after about a quarter or so. Can't really complain there. And I've had this one sitting there for quite a while from the Senior League set. 
always like getting those ones signed, and uh, most of the time players are good about signing them. So, yeah, happy to get those ones back from Mr. Milan, and we'll go down to our last one here. JB from San Bernardino, California. As bad as I looked that one up first, and now I'm already forgetting who it was, but uh, yeah, somebody in baseball, I know that for sure. And ah, yeah, there we go, it's Jack Brohammer, that's right. Sent his, uh, not sure if it's his business card, just has a Bible verse on it there, but sent that and uh, signed the cards that I sent as well. Former Indian, former uh, Red Sox, and there we go. So, very fast success from him there, and yeah, five total in the mailbox today. Capping off an excellent week. My streak continuing on now to, I think, it's 13 days in a row with successes. You'll see those uh, the previous three days all coming up right after this. So, uh, without further ado, let's go on to Friday. Hello, everybody. It is Friday, and I have been lazy for a couple of days on posting stuff. Got stuff Wednesday, got stuff Thursday. Never got around to posting it. It'll be coming up right after this. But uh, good news, we got two items in the mail today. Only one of which I knew was coming. Seems to be a pattern lately. And got an eBay, or not an eBay, a, uh, what was this? Sport Lots. Sport Lots purchase. Some soccer stuff coming in here. So uh, I'm going to go ahead and break that open here real quick. It's all unsigned stuff, but, you know, it's worth showing off. Uh, joined a Facebook group here this past week on soccer autographs, and somebody got back one from a guy from Manchester United. Not my favorite team, to say the least, but uh, really cool to see that one come back to him at least. It's like, whoa, hey, active players are signing. That's That's... Good to know. Uh, so I thought, all right, I should probably, you know, go looking through here and see what all I've got that I can send out. And I forgot that, uh, yeah, I'm actually in uh, in progress on several sets here. There's my knife. That uh, I got a bunch of free stuff from and figured, uh, yeah, we'll, we'll finish these up eventually at some point. And I started looking at the uh, eBay values on some of these things. It's like, yeah, maybe I'll go ahead and finish these up now because uh, there's been some crazy, crazy uh, values on some stuff there in the soccer world lately. Uh, so I went through looking through some of my doubles there, and well, here, I'll just show you some that I've come across here before I show you my uh, auction, or my Sport Lots pickup today, but uh, that 2018-19 uh, Don Russ set, for example, has uh, two uh, Kylian Mbappe cards that are going for pretty nice money. A um, lot of big names there that have the rookie cards in there. Uh, Phil Foden from Man City, for one. Um, Jaden Sancho in there. Oh, God, who else? Um, Alfonso Davies was another big name that's in there. Kai Havertz. He's with Chelsea, if I remember right. I should know that. They're my favorite team. I don't follow them super close like I do most other sports, though. Um, Ashraf Hakimi. Um, Timothy Weah, Team USA. A couple other Americans there in uh, Josh Sargent and uh, Weston McKenney. And uh, Vinicius Jr. is another big one, but a few other inserts in there as well that came out pretty good. I mean, you've got the uh, got a, a Christian Pulisic silver press proof that was in the, the stuff that I had here. Timo Werner, I think that's his rookie card too, if I remember right, press proof on that one. But yeah, I came across a bunch of really nice stuff in there. So it's like, hey, I uh, kind of got the urge back going again there to go ahead and complete these sets and... Uh, Hopefully, maybe trade off some of my doubles there and such. But, uh, yeah, so I went ahead and bought up a bunch to help those out. So the sets that I'm working on, there we go, get this ripped open a little bit more. The sets that I'm working on, it's a 2018 Prism World Cup, 2018-19 Donruss Soccer, 2018-19 Donruss Optics Soccer, and 2016-17 uh, Aficionado Soccer as well. But, um... Figured, you know what, let's go ahead and uh, work on some of those and get some of the stuff bought up. So, uh, just doing the base sets on all of them, except for just the regular Don Russ. I'm going to do all of the uh, kind of lower-end inserts there as well. So, uh, you know, figured out. I've actually posted up a while back on sports card forums, saying, you know, I'm interested in trading for some of these. And found a guy who sold me some that I needed, at least. So, got a few knocked out that way for the World Cup set. Very good packaging job done here. Wow. Almost there. Almost got through. Here we go. Come on. I think I can, I think I can. So, there we go. Okay. So, this is one out of four that I bought from on Sport Lots. Dealers, I should say. But, uh, yeah, pretty nice block that I was able to pick up right there uh, from this first one. The other one should be coming in, hopefully, on um, possibly as early as tomorrow on some. Probably Monday is more likely on, on uh, the other three, and maybe Tuesday even. But, 
Love this aficionado set design, but I'm only one away now from having aficionado totally kicked. But yeah, there you go. I mean, check that design. That's just so cool looking, I think. It's got, uh, yeah, Mauricio Icardi, Oscar, Jan Vertonghen, Ashley Williams, Alexis Sanchez, Icar Casillas, and uh, Michael Bradley all in there. So I'm one away from having the 150-card base set done there. Still, uh, if there's another 50 cards at the end there that are a uh, kind of a short print insert kind of a thing. Probably not going to bother with those. I've got a few I can trade off. But uh, yeah, moving through this Don Russ one, um, let's see here. The Out of This World, uh, Rodrigo Bentoncourt, um, Adrian Rabio, and the 89 throwback. I love that one. The 89 uh, Don Russ baseball design, basically, there on those ones. Antoine Griezmann, Don Russ Dominator. Um, Luis Suarez, Luca Modric, um, Sergio Aguero, Diego Costa, and Yassin Brahimi in the Elite Series set. And Legend Series cards of uh, Peter Schmeichel and uh, Xavi Hernandez. So there you go, knocked out a few of those. Um, like I said, got three more uh, coming that hopefully will get me pretty darn close to having Don Russ set almost done. And picked up a few of the Optic ones as well. I'm not going to bother going through every single one of those at all, but yeah, knocked out a nice little stack there of those. So yeah, always good to get some of those in there that help with a set, even, you know, not autograph related stuff, but always like getting those and uh, inching my way closer to completion. So Y'all tuned in here for the autographs, though, so let's go ahead and get on into those. First one here is the one that I didn't know was coming today. Initials are SS. It's from Seattle, Washington, and I believe this is going to be Mariners manager Scott Service. Let's find out. SS is kind of a common initial pairing, so uh, hopefully that's him. And yeah, Scott Service. There we go. Good stuff right there. We'll show off uh, these two here. Always a fan of 96 Fleer. Always a fan of minor league cards. You probably know that by now, so there you go. Service was uh, sent back, I think, it was right before the baseball season started up in its abbreviated state. So I'm thinking maybe May, June, July, somewhere in there that I sent it off, coming back here now that the season is over for the Mariners. But uh, yeah, great turnaround there. It's the second time I've gotten service now in the span of about probably got five, six, seven years now, and a number of years since I mailed to him the first time. So moving on here, we've got um, JD with no postmark. The postmark actually ended up on the back, and uh, yeah, I can't really tell you. It's, I mean covered up halfway by that label-looking thingy there. But I'm pretty sure this is going to be former pitcher John DeQuisto. We'll see if that's the case. So I looked up as being most likely, at least. Yes, indeed it is. He also threw in his business card, mentioning that he is an author of the book Fastball John. So there you go. Cool to get that one back. And yes, he did indeed sign the cards that I sent as well. I always like the Expos ones, and this uh, Senior League set is always a fun one there. So there you go. Got those back as well. Nice to get that little bonus item there, too, as well, on the uh, signed business card. So great stuff there once again. Um, got my soccer stuff here that, uh, yeah, go ahead and put those in the box and start checking off the checklist there on those. And hopefully have a chance uh, maybe soon to mail out some of my doubles, the ones that I don't trade to finish these sets at least. But uh Got to go about trying to find some European postage, though. But uh, I know there's at least a couple of guys over in uh, in the UK that I think I've got some extra cards of. I'll probably try mailing off to them. I'm hoping I can find some info about some uh, older Italian and uh, English soccer players. Because uh, I've had this 92-score Italy uh, Serie A, or Serie A, I guess it would be, set. Uh, got a case of it, like, God, 15 years or so ago for about the cost of shipping on it, and that's about it. But... I got one complete set out of the whole thing, but a uh, friend of mine over in, uh, where's he at? He's in Alabama now. Yeah, mailed me a, uh, most of the, I think it was 91, some of the early 90s, their pro set to this English soccer set. So I said, hey, dude, I would love any doubles you've got on there. I'll send you a bunch from the uh, Italian set, a bunch of indoor ones, all that stuff, you know, and get crazy on the TTMs with that, hopefully. So hopefully that group on Facebook's going to have some addresses for me. Hopefully I can get some stamps from somewhere and uh, yeah. Let's see what we can knock out with those, you know? I mean, I'm, I'm kind of running out of North Americans to write to sometimes. So, uh, yeah, hopefully I'll have some uh, foreign stuff coming our way here on this channel as well. As always, thanks for tuning in. As I said, we've got Thursday and Wednesdays coming up. So let's go ahead and go right on over to Thursday right now. Hello, everybody. It is Thursday. Band practice got canceled. That's part of the bad news. The good news is, though, I have successes to talk about here. The bad news, though... 
We also are leading off with an RTS. The good news, though, is that it comes with a corrected address right there. So Matt Mieske coming back to me. But fortunately, we have an updated address, so I can just probably just take these, throw them into a different envelope, try that out, and we'll see what we get back. So there we go. That'll be happening uh, sometime in November. I don't know when exactly. But we also have a success. This one did not show up on my, uh, what do you call it, the informed delivery stuff at all today. So I've been running about 50% on my, on my autographs lately. So, uh, yeah, no postmark on it. Don't really know much about it because of that. It's got the initials of TR on it. Let's go ahead and rip this on open and see what we've got. Had some yesterday. You'll be seeing those coming up right after this on this video as well. And so let's see. Aha, this would be Mr. Tom Runnels, former manager of the Montreal Expos. We got the 92 tops and the 91 tops traded. Also threw in the 92 OPG that I had there as well. So there you go. Technically three different versions there. So real happy to get those ones back. I'd actually gotten these hoping to get him in person a while back. He was like a bench coach or something like that for the Rockies, I want to say, back in like 2013, 2014, something like that. Had those there and uh, went for the Rockies. Didn't get a chance to, didn't really get a chance to get him at all. So uh, got a few others there when I was out going for them. So yeah, that's always good. Got them by mail. Can't complain there. Once again, thanks for tuning in. We have, uh, like I said, I've got the uh, Wednesday successes upcoming, so uh, let's go and check them out. Hello, everybody. It is Wednesday. We've got two here in the mailbox. I was only expecting one of them. Not sure who the second one is here. I uh, looked up the first one, though, at least. Initials on this one are SC. It's coming to us from Minneapolis, Minnesota. And I believe this is going to be former pitcher Steve Comer. Let's find out real quick if that's the case. And yeah, we've got ourselves Steve Comer back in the mailbox here. Former Ranger pitcher. We'll show off a couple of these here real quick. Looks like he kept one of them. That's cool. But sent back three total signed. There's two of them right there. Very happy to get those ones back. Look, there's the 81 tops, I think, that he kept out of those. That's cool. I'm good with that. So, moving on. We've got another one here. This is no postmark on it. And uh, the initials are FB. So, yeah, didn't see that one on informed delivery. Uh... Like I said, no postmark on it either, so I don't really know who this is going to be. Cool. Let's see here. There we go. All right, got it open. And this one, oh, good. This is going to be former Expo, former uh, Mariners prospect, but it's uh, Frank Bolick. Show off these two here. There you go. Got the 92 tops right there. This one, uh, I think all four of these guys on here are signed. I've seen a few that have come back completely done. Um, I've read to Craig Paquette already there, so uh, he'll probably be the last one that I go for on there. But yeah, Tom Reddington, Paul Russo, seen both of them signing this one. So be going to one of them up here, uh, upcoming here pretty soon. So we'll see if we can get that quad totally done. Got a few uh, triples done, but no, uh, no quads in baseball, I don't think, just yet. So... Uh, yeah, that'll be a first. And a few quads of some other sports, though, at least, with indoor soccer. So, uh, yeah, see if we can knock out all four on that one. So, once again, thanks for tuning in. Subscribe button somewhere down here. Go ahead and hit that. Get updated on all of my videos whenever they come through. And go check out sportscardforum.com. Lots of great info on there about all things collectibles, especially a great autograph section. See you next time.